Hello, hello and welcome back to Thomas Talks and today we're going to be taking a look and a quick car tour of the 2020 Lexus NX F Sport, so stay tuned for this video. So the Sport package adds things like the dark chrome around the window grille, we also get the tri-LED lights along with the two-tone black and chrome wing mirrors. So inside the F-Sport trim, there's a couple of minor changes. We get the F-Sport steering wheel. It's got a perforated rail and it's a bit chunkier. We've got things like your heated seats, heated steering wheel. And we've got slightly different trim on the inserts. We've got kind of got like a hexagonal door trim here. And the F-Sport gauges are pretty similar to the standard NX. You can switch all the way to the right to get the tachometer again. So this F Sport does get the VG meter reading, which is moves left and right depending on how hard you're banking left and right or accelerating and braking. So the overall dash quality is pretty high. Everything's well screwed, there's nothing squeaking or rattling. I quite like the fact not everybody does, you get exposed screws on the side, it kind of adds a bit to the utility and factor of the SUV. We've also got a little vanity mirror. And underneath We've got your wireless charging, two USB and auxiliary cable in there, along with a um, box of the holding your stuff, with the fuzzy stuff. It has black leather sports seats with some bolstering, as you can see at the side there. It's got white stitching and quite an attractive design overall. It has plenty of adjustment, and also as you can see, the dashboard is padded with a soft leatherette material. The rear of the car, you can see the attractive rear end of the NX and the boot is electronically operated with the touch of a button. The car has 555 litres of boot space for feet up and 1600 litres for speed down. So in the UK anyway, all Lexus NXs come with the 300 h powertrain. That means that it uses a 2.5 litre 4 cylinder petrol coupled with a battery pack. Total output is 197 brake horsepower. You can expect 0 to 60 if it puts it down in just over 9.2 seconds. And the car has a claimed 47.3 miles to a gallon of And this NX competes with cars such as the new Mercedes GLB, the GLC for Mercedes, along with the BMW X3 and the Audi Q5 and the Volvo XC60. So I've just entered the car partners to quickly show how the turning so when things are off the car it's quite easy to manoeuvre. I quite like the fact you are quite high up and you can see over things if it was too little. Show me here. It handles quite well, which is better for a crossover, so these cars are kind of designed for urban kind of comfort. You won't be doing any serious off-loading in this car and it being based on the Toyota of our 4s I mentioned. Can be pretty reliable. I think actually Auto Express uh, had it in the Power Awards uh, for 2019-2020 and it's one of the top ranked cars in the UK in reliability so that's obviously good to show you a bit of peace of mind if you're going to be buying a used one or you're planning on buying it and keeping it for a long term. So thanks very much for watching Thomas Talks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Lexus video. It's a little bit different from what I've been posting recently. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao!